Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today we're going to be unboxing the Rally Technologies Birdie Smart Birdhouse. So this is actually something I believe they're launching a Kickstarter for in December, but this package is massive. Look at how huge this is. So I'm curious to see what's all going to be in here um, and how big this unit actually is. So this is a prototype and I believe the app is kind of under development as well. So I think we're going to have limited functionality for that. But I want to go over some of the features that this thing is supposed to have when it's finally released. So it says AI identification of over a thousand bird species. AI has been really hit or miss in the past. So that's hard to say how well that's going to work. Time-lapse photography, live feed and two-way communication, 1080p resolution and full color night vision. Now other products I've tested, when they say full color night vision, they normally just like have a light that's on. So I don't know if I really call that full color. So don't know exactly how that's going to work. Cloud storage and SD card storage. Integration with chat GPT to assist users in learning and understanding bird knowledge. That That's interesting. Chat GPT is like AI that you can ask questions and it'll answer for you to the best of its understanding. Uh, lithium battery lasts up to five hours. Oh, five months. Lasts up to five months plus solar panel. An antenna ensures a maximum watching distance of 100 meters. Account sharing, so you can have multiple people watching. Uh, two installation methods, wall mounted or ground. Four entrance sizes, so different holes, uh, entrance holes for birds to go in. And then it's also waterproof. So a lot of stuff coming out um, about what this will hopefully be capable of in the future. Um, let's get this giant box open. So we have... I'm assuming this is like for the poles and then like kind of a thing you can stake in, but here we go. So it's still pretty large, even out of the box. The packaging looks really nice though, and they have pictures of the birds. Um, looks like nothing here in North America. They add googly eyes or something. Maybe the bird's eyes just look like that. I don't know, there's an interesting picture on here. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like, so it's got kind of like a modern feel to it. It's pretty heavy. It looks good though. So let's kind of pop this open. So it's got a what's in the box, so it kind of tells you. This is fancy. So there's accessories in here and here, I'm assuming. Mm, so this is a mounting bracket. This is all packaged really nicely. I have to kind of dump it. Everything's so large in this system. Wow, it's big. Look at this. Like, that's a big birdhouse. It looks really nice. I think. I, I guess it looks like real wood. It's got a, definitely got like a modern kind of feel to it. It's pretty heavy, but it looks like it's well crafted. It's got these like metal, oh, that's nice. These metal little ways to hold the roof on. Wow. Oh, that's cute. It comes with a little bird. Looks like a European robin. Is this a mic? This packaging is just like things inside of things. So here's an antenna. I'm gonna assume this is the camera and the mic here because it has a hole looking in and then we have our antenna. Yeah, this is looking pretty cool though. 
like I said, it's really big. Definitely, it's definitely like a quirky looking design. <laughs> So I guess these are the different size like openings you can put on. These are both pretty small, like even for wrens, that's pretty tiny. But it is nice you can change them out. So let's see what's in some of these other ones. Uh, this is the mounting bracket in here, as we already talked about. And then this one I think is empty. This one, there's stuff in though. So in here we have a solar panel. A lot of these smart bird related products have solar panels to charge, which work pretty well. And then it looks like some like probably drywall anchors and screws and things in here. So this is all kind of mounting equipment that you can use. And then our solar panel as well. One thing I don't really see is an instruction manual. Maybe that's just because it's a prototype though. But let's uh, let's try to get it set up in this app. So it's the Rally Up app. So it says fully charge the camera. Sometimes you can get away with them being a little charged. So I popped it out just to, for this. All right, we are gonna have to charge it. So I'll charge it and then I'll see in a little bit. So we charged up our camera a little bit. Gonna take this off. Very nice. So let's power it on. Welcome to the Birdie Smart Birdhouse. Okay. Let's see if we can get it to connect. Yep, we heard it. Press the power button for three seconds. Okay, now we need the Wi-Fi. Waiting to connect. It's very loud. Okay, scan the QR code. Oh, okay, so now we scan the QR code. It says flashing blue, but the image shows yellow. Waiting to connect. Which is interesting. So they told me the only features available right now are connecting and live streaming, but the other features will be available when it comes out officially. Connection successful. We'll put this back in. So it has some tips for where to mount it and how to put the brackets together. Neat. We actually have an image of the couch. So let's close the little door in the back. Neat. So it is night vision right now, but it's not color. Didn't want to do that, but it has a squirrel alarm, which is, I don't know, I guess kind of makes sense for a birdhouse, but I wouldn't want to accidentally do that when you would bir have birds in there. Okay, so that's like different levels of light. That's pretty cool. 
You can take video. Photos. Oh, and then there's sleep mode. Cool. And then you can do a, like a voice call or a voice changer. Neat. This looks pretty solid. I like the image quality of it. It looks good. Um, and then for mounting, so this bracket is pretty sturdy, which is good because the feeder is large and heavy, but basically you would screw this in up against a wall and then you would attach this to the bottom. This acrylic is not sticky. So this can come up. That's kind of cool. It's got like a little window for light. But you would mount like this and then it would go against your wall. So I'm excited to see like the full functionality of it. It's definitely heavy, so you wanna make sure you mount it properly. And it is like pretty sizable. Like it's a pretty large birdhouse. So I do wonder if things like wrens and chickadees might like might take them a while to actually get it full. But if you're looking for something quirky, um, the packaging was really nice. The quality of the product seemed nice. Um, I am kind of curious about these different nest hole sizes. And there is nothing like metal really to prevent squirrels from getting to it, but I guess if you put it on like the side of a house, it'd probably be hard for them to get to. I later found out that all entrance holes on the Kickstarter units will be metal. So I guess I would do some kind of squirrel proofing with like a squirrel baffle, just making sure it's kind of out of the way. Um, don't know how big of birds you could get in here, but definitely like, I would think like a chickadee would eat, yeah, a chickadee would easily get in there, um, but it's cool. The Birdie Kickstarter campaign online is now live and is quite comprehensive and impressive. The plans for the final product also address some of the concerns I had, such as adding metal guards for the entrance holes, showing the multiple mounting options, and the different specifications. It is definitely a unique design, and you can check out the Kickstarter page yourself for more info. What are your thoughts on this birdhouse? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.